so I'm going to do, this is, this is a pretty serious event, um, so I'm going to tackle something really serious. Um, I don't know why this is funny to you all. Uh, so we have, a, we have a problem with immigration uh, these days. You know, not all immigrants are bad. Uh, in fact, um, to be honest, you know, we all, you know, when we're being honest with ourselves, we think about one particular group. And I know it's not PC to say who we're thinking about, but I think we should just talk about them openly. Um, uh, so the, these uh, are called humans. Um, for a little background on humans, uh, uh, humans are this, uh, they're naturally occurring phenomenon on the surface of the earth. Uh, they ingest calories by killing things, and then they use the calories to kill each other. Uh, uh, and also to uh, create novel arrangements of carbohydrates. Uh, <laughs> I think that's actually, I, I think I mislabeled it. That's, that's churro French toast, I'm sorry. Um, in any case, uh, uh, <laughs> so, I'm serious. Um, so uh, humans, uh, from further background, humans uh, came into existence when there was a chimp, uh, and the chimp had a mutated FOXP2 gene that made it never shut up, ever, uh, not even for a second. <laughs> uh, and then they, um, they developed high levels of intelligence to manipulate each other socially, um, and then to, to kill large animals for steak. Now, this was all fine when they stayed in their region in East Africa. But about 200,000 years ago, they had the temerity to start spreading across the planet, ruining everything everywhere they went. Uh, and I have evidence of this. At least as far back as 35,000 BC, they were graffitiing um, uh, caves all around the place. Uh, and, oh, and while they were doing it, they left dirty, dirty sculptures. Uh, that's the Venus of Willendorf. Uh, I didn't want to show you the front. Um, uh, so we're all familiar with the stupid stuff humans do. Um, for example, uh, starting a few thousand years ago, they built a whole bunch of garbage like the pyramids. Um, uh, then there's the Parthenon, yeah. Um, and of course the ziggurat of Ur, uh, yada, yada, yada. Um, and what you want to note about these is they don't assimilate into their environment. Uh, they stand out. Um, and they, they, they're not blending in with the local culture. Uh, and, you know, I welcome diversity, but it seems to me that if you move to a desert uh, where desert creatures live, it's just basic courtesy that you don't go around building ziggurats. Uh, um, and anyway, so things have gotten pretty much worse uh, over time. Uh, about 15,000 years ago, humans came to North America over the, 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 the Bering Strait, which was temp temporarily made possible by some extreme weather conditions. That's Beringia. Um, and they did this, I will note, with no legal basis, uh, none whatsoever. In other words, they used climate change as an excuse to non-legally come to this place. Uh, now, I'm not a bigot. Uh, <laughs> you know, I get it. You, you're following a mammoth across a temporary land bridge. Uh, and it's not obvious what to do when the last glacial maximum comes to an end. Um, and uh, I just don't see why the rest of us should pay for a mistake your great, 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 great grandfather made. I suppose some of you, probably a lot of bleeding hearts here tonight, don't see a problem with integrating humans into America. So I want to give you some stats on humans, okay? So let's talk economics. This is... Anybody? <laughs> Thought I'd get one. Um, okay, so this is called the, uh, um, this equation gives you G. G is the Gini coefficient, G-I-N-I. Uh, it's nothing to do with um, you know, floating Arabian uh, deities. Um, the Gini coefficient, which uh, can have a value between zero and one. One uh, means maximum inequality. Zero means perfect equality. This is in terms of incomes. Uh, and so that's the equation. Now the x variables uh, in the, the little absolute value bars there, those represent income differences between individuals. Uh, and the, the, the denominator has to do with population size. And the important thing to note is suppose we eliminate the individuals. <laughs> that's perfect equality. 
Um, so another major uh, economic concern we have today is health care. Uh, so here's a current projection for Medicare's future solvency in this country. Um, so note that if we, if we just eliminate humans, uh, <laughs> the whole system becomes solvent, perhaps forever. Um, finally, on economics, um, before humans there was uh, zero joblessness, there was uh, no unemployment. Uh, in fact, as far as we can tell, there's nobody even bothered keeping data on it back then. Uh, but uh, if we do a linear regression, so let's see, this is, this is uh, just, I, I picked a random set of years. Um, uh, if we do a linear regression, uh, yeah, the unemployment rate uh, would be negative uh, 49,995. It's because it's starting at five. Um, um, <laughs> someone really liked that one, linear regression. <laughs> Um, <laughs> um, oh, I'm sorry, I skipped it. Well, so uh, we're going to talk about human sociology. Uh, as I mentioned, humans tend to ha not assimilate into, into the local environment. In fact, in, in, in the modern world, they cluster in what are called office buildings. Um, and there they actually, you can see, they actively try to segregate themselves from normal life. Uh, um, and... Uh, uh, they're also really disruptive to their neighborhoods. Uh, somehow, uh, humans cause both slums and gentrification. Uh, <laughs> it's like, make up your mind. Um, and uh, more seriously, 100% uh, of crime is caused by humans. Um, now, in fairness, a lot of that is human-on-human -human crime. I don't want to get into that. Um, I just don't know if we want that sort of thing in our community. Um, uh, let's talk about the environment. Uh, so right now we have in the Pacific what's sometimes called the Pacific Garbage Vortex. Um, some of the objects in the vortex may take up to a million years to biodegrade, but um, if we get rid of all the humans, there'll be nobody sad about it. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then, of course, there's the mother of all environmental problems. There's climate change, uh, specifically anthropogenic climate change. Uh, now, this may shock you, but climate scientists currently believe that humans are responsible for 100% of anthropogenic climate change. Um, so for these reasons, you know, when I see a human on the street, I always say the same thing. Um, well, I, 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 always, I add a little, uh, you know, just for accuracy. And then, and then just for clarity, uh, um, you know. So what are we going to do about this problem? We've got to have a solution. So what do we do? That's easy. We build a wall. Um, <laughs> but there's a problem with building a wall. Uh, specifically, there's a geometry problem, um, which is, uh, so suppose you want to build a wall on an approximately 2D surface like uh, the border between the US and Mexico. Uh, that's pretty easy, right? You just, um, you just build the wall across. Um, <laughs> Um, but if you want to build around the world, you've got, you've got a non-Euclidean surface. Um, so how do we solve this problem uh, of building a wall around the world? Well, you could put it around the equator, but now you just got humans on both sides. Um, so they're still there. Uh, so there's, there's a nice geometry solution with this, which is we start with a pillar uh, on the opposite side of the Earth from the Great Rift Valley. And then we just kind of expand it out, expand it out. <laughs> Keep going. Gotcha. We get them all the way back to their ancestral homeland, and um, I think they'll be happier this way. Uh, I think it's better for them, too. Um, now, in closing, a, a few people might say, hey, wait a minute, are you one of those self-hating humans? Um, and uh, the answer is no. I'm actually, um, I'm approximately 2% Neanderthal, uh, and, and up to 5% uh, Denisovan, and I really strongly identify with those heritages. Um, so that's my solution. Thank you. And this was brought to you by the, um, oh, what did I call it? The Committee for Laughing So We Don't Cry. Uh, thank you very much.